hi guys and welcome back to my channel i hope the lighting is okay because i am filming and it is dark outside so i am using artificial lights that are not that harsh so yeah hopefully the lighting is all right and if it's all right let me know in the comments section below because if it is okay then i can start filming um at earlier times or at night and then be able to get videos up instead of it always being daytime so this video is going to be makeup products for the week i had to do another one of these and i'm probably going to start doing these anyway because i have to go through my whole makeup collection and you know since it's new year's i have to give away makeup i have to throw away products that you know or i don't want it anymore am i using or old just basically clean out everything and what i've noticed is a lot of my makeup is also not in the drawers a lot of my makeup is in boxes from not me not putting them away and then i just throw them in a box and in a bag or something like that so just it's it's a mess so i really need to do like a cleaning on that so that's why i pulled out some products so I can use for this week and next week um, when I do do these videos if you are new to my channel I call it makeup products of the week because that's how it started out it started out being my products that I pulled for the week and trying to get um, ones I don't use very much or ones that I'm trying to finish and what I've noticed is the week wasn't enough because I don't wear makeup every single day during the week so what I noticed is that two weeks of using the products I actually get more use out of it so yes let's just get into the product because I have already talked for two minutes okay so first product is going to be this mascara and this is the Ramel London volume flash scandalized mascara um, and it's in extreme black I have been using this mascara now for a while and it's basically almost finished and starting to get to that drier side so I want to start um, basically finishing this up so I can just toss it and get started on a new mascara but I have really really been loving this one so that is my mascara for the week eyeshadow I decided to go with a palette and it's this palette you guys I really really love this palette this is the elf everyday smoky palette um you guys seen this palette before i used it in a tutorial and i also did a video of how i got this basically promoting elf and their instagram account you know type of contest stuff so yes this is the i don't know if i said already the elf smoky eye um everyday smoky um eyeshadow palette and it comes with a mirror and the eyeshadows look like this it's basically like the Naked palette, so if you have the Naked palette, you can just keep using that. You don't really have to get this. If you don't have the Naked palette and you did want the Naked palette, um, the first one, I'm talking about Urban Decay Naked palette, um, this is a great buy if you're looking for colors um, that the Naked palette has. But I think this is also kind of better. One, because it's cheaper, and two, because you actually get like a gunmetal, like a, a, I mean a charcoal, a gunmetal, in a black tone so it's kind of a win-win with this one so this is going to be my palette for the other eyeshadow I decided to pull because the um the sparkly tone in that one that's more of a lighter tone and so I can get more of a highlight in my inner tear duct area wasn't really working for me so I just went with the handy dandy Urban Decay Sin um, if you haven't seen the Urban Decay Sin I'm pretty sure everyone has Sin is a one of Urban Decay's older um, colors and it also is in the Urban Decay um, first naked palette um, and this is what Sin looks like um, see it's even in the old packaging so yes that's another one so for the base to keep those eyeshadows on I decided to stick with the handy dandy NYX or NYX eyeshadow base it's this one and this is in the color 03 this has lasted me so long now. I remember getting this um, back in 2013 and this, I'm still going with this and it's still moist, it still works nice, there's still a lot of product. 
Um, it's probably because a little bit of this eyeshadow base really goes a long way. My eyebrows. Um, I decided not to go with the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit. I decided to go with this eyebrow um, lift and fill pencil, which mine <laughs> completely looks like crap. I know. Um, but I love this pencil. I noticed that with the eyebrow kit, um, it comes with the gel and the powder, of course. The powder, of course, is too light for my eyebrows. Um, but if I did do them too dark, I could, you know, lighten it up with the powder. Or if I wanted to set it, I could use the powder. I usually use the powder under my eyebrow um, because, like I said, it's too light for my eyebrows. But the gel is way too dark um, for some days, I feel. I feel like it's one of those, like if I was going with a nice full face of makeup it would be perfect because it will everything would look put together but when I'm wearing makeup like this which some of you guys might be saying that looks like a full face of makeup which it, it's not um I feel like it's too harsh and just makes my eyebrows look really really dark so when I'm going for more of a nat quote unquote natural look um I like using this so this is the eyebrow pencil part which of course needs to be sharpened because I just used it and this is the fill part which the fill part or lift lift part that goes under the eyebrows on top, whatever. Um, a little bit of that goes a long way too because you do have to smooth it out. Okay, for eyeliners, I have three eyeliners here. So the first one, I'm gonna start with the bottom lash line because I only have one for that. The bottom lash line, I've been, I'm going to be using this and I have, I have all this products on right now. And this is the LA Colors eyeliner and eyeshadow duo so the eyeliner is the black part and the eyeshadow is supposed to be the purple part i don't use this purple part as eyeshadow i like it more on the bottom um lash line because it brings a pop of color to my eyes instead of using the black which is can be really really harsh especially during the daytime or instead of using another color type of thing i think purple is like the way to go um, so I've been going to use this. I've been loving this too. Okay, for for eyeliner for the top lash line, I of course stuck with a natural black. This is the Elf Precision Liquid Eyeliner. If you haven't tried this eyeliner, you really really need to try. I think it's three dollars, and it is. Oh my gosh, it stays on all day. It's easy to use. And the tip is literally like that. Like, look how pointy that is. And it hasn't had any of the clumping or any of the um, brush feathering out. No, so no weird stuff. It's worked perfectly. Um, I do have to say it is kind of wet. So when you take it out, kind of brush it against the sides to get some of the liquid off. So you don't just be clumping it on, you know. So you don't want little circle dots when you're putting on your eyeliner. Um, for a more fun eyeliner, I decided to go with this one. This is a blue one. It's also, um, well, this is a felt tip. Looks like that. And this is by Shella, and it's an eyeliner pen in the color Hello Beautiful. So, yeah. Um, I like this blue eyeliner because it, it gives you that pop of color, but it's not so dramatic. So, basically, the purple on the bottom which I'm wearing now, which I'm like kind of far away from the camera, I feel like. Um, so I'm wearing the blue on top. It's it's like it's a real alternative to black. And I'm wearing the purple on the bottom. And I like it. I I feel like it's not so like basic in a way. Instead of like doing all black. It, it, like I said, it gives you some pop. For highlight, I decided to go with this. And this is the Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer in Tropics. Um, I like this as a highlight. It still works for me. So um, I'm not too dark right now. So that it just looks like whoosh, you know, on my face or chalky or anything. It, it works perfectly. It looks like this. I haven't hit anything. I mean, I got the little dome part down but ugh, there's still so much product in this um if you haven't tried these i would highly suggest you trying them i i did always want it the blush from hard candy i think it's called like something about doll doll face 
I don't know, it's something dull, I think. It's like that pink one. It was that pretty, pretty pink one that everyone used to talk about on YouTube, like, back in the day. And I could never get my hands on that. That blush was always sold out. Do they still sell it at Walmart? Let me know. For blush, I'm sticking with this e.l.f. blush in the color Berry Mary. I'm obsessed with this blush, you guys. I feel like it's like the perfect blush for my skin tone. I'm wearing it now, and it just looks like a nice, fleshy, like, pink for me. It's not so, like, fake pink. Like, oh, she's wearing blush. It's more of, like, that natural, like, I'm naturally blushing. So, it looks like this. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. For the lips, um, I'll start from the beginning, I guess, to the end. To just finish off these products. So, I'm using this, and this is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I picked out a lot of e.l.f. products. Can you guys tell I really do love e.l.f.? I feel like they're part of, like, I know they're part of the lower, like, in drugstore type of brand, but dang, they work so well. So, if you're not on that e.l.f. bandwagon, you need to jump on. Don't ever act too good <laughs> because it really works. So, this is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. Um, it looks like that. It's just a basically a sugar scrub to exfoliate your lips to um be like before applying anything basically. Especially lipstick. You want nice exfoliated lips before putting on lipstick. Ooh. If you notice that your lipstick um during a day or even like an hour in of putting it on, if you notice that um it starts to you get little peelies or the color just starts to clump or it just looks a mess it's not the lip don't blame the lipstick blame your lips if you didn't exfoliate because that's probably what it is this pencil so i decided to go with this nice pinky um pencil and this is by star looks and it's in the color tickle me pink and that's all my products just moving in that box um, so that is what the color looks like. It's like a little nice Barbie pink color. Um, but on the lips, it doesn't go off like Barbie, you know, like type of pink. It's more of like a nice, like feathery type of pink look. Um, and I did that because the lipstick I chose is this. I know this looks like a hot mess, but the one thing about these lipsticks by NYC is that if you live in a hot place like the summertime expect your lipsticks like these to really melt and that is what happened to this one it it melts okay. i have is a lip gloss so if i don't feel like wearing that lipstick i am going to be wearing this lip gloss and this is the julep lip gloss and it's in this nice packaging which i really really love and this is in the color graceful so if you have more of a lighter lip color natural lip color than me it will come out like that pouty pinky nudie color um if you do have pigmented lips like me it will mo mostly come out like a gloss you might see some of that pink hit but you won't see like um what the two really looks like brushes i decided to go with these brushes and they are all elf brush so the first one is the elf small smudge brush and it looks like this i like using this brush to help get lipstick that might have clumped like smooth it out all but i'm using it really for to get in the inner tear duct area with that sin eyeshadow so yeah the next one is the elf crease brush and this brush is good for like they said the crease it's also good for for applying in um on other parts of the eyes because it's great at blending so if you do have a hard time blending i would recommend you just getting this brush and focusing the color because it will literally help you so just go get that one and the next one is the elf blush brush this is great for any part of the face you really want to use you can contour with it because if it's nicely right in there you can of course put blush on you can highlight yeah so oh blush brush and the last brush is this one and this is the elf complexion brush and i don't use this as a face brush i use this as a blush brush because it helps blend out 
colors smoothly in that region especially colors that blushes that seem to be more pigmented so i'm using the blush brush which will apply it you know more stiffly um this one will actually help you smooth it out and get a nice finish so that is all of the products i will be using on my face for this week and next week i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any video suggestions always make sure to leave them down in the comment sections because i do take all of your suggestions in consideration that's it i will see you guys in my next video bye guys